Hi, I am Mrs. Stewart and I teach seventh grade language arts. So a little bit about me, I love to teach and I love reading. Other favorites include chocolate, working out, adventuring with my family and going on vacation. I grew up here in South Jordan. I went to Bingham High School and then went to BYU uh, for my undergrad. I got my reading endorsement from BYU and I'm currently working on my master's at UVU. I have five kid or I have five people in my family. I have three kids. I love to run, work out, and of course I love to read. So our number one class rule is going to be taking responsibility for our own learning and that the students need to really be advocates for themselves and help me help them be their best selves. So uh, if you ever need to contact me, it's Kimberly Stewart 2 at jordandistrict.org. And if you have anything that I need to know about your student before school starts, feel free to email me. Okay, so some class info. As far as supplies, they need to have their Chromebook every day. We're going to use it every day. They need to have it. Pen or pencil, folder for assignments, a personal reading book. We're going to read in class uh, multiple times a week. Any book they want to read. I have lots of books. The library has lots of books. They just need to always have a book that they are reading. Um, they need to have earbuds every day and highlighters in two colors. Uh, the two books that we're going to be reading this year are The Honest Truth and Harry Potter. Honest Truth is going to be first and second quarter. Um, and we just have classroom sets of these books. So if you're concerned about your student uh, sharing books with people in other classes, then you are more than welcome to buy the book. It's just I think it's $8 on Amazon right now. Um, it's Dan Gemeinhart. Uh, and then if you want to purchase the Harry Potter as well, it's the third Harry Potter book. Um, as far as grades, we do standards-based grading. So everything's out of 4, 3, 2, 1. A 3 is met the standard. That's what I'm really pushing for for the students. I want them to get 3s on things. That tells me I've done my job and they've met their standard. Um, a 4 is they've gone above and beyond. They can apply it and they can, uh, they really understand the standard. A two means we need some more work and one means we need a lot more work. But grades are never set. They can, students can come in and get extra help and retake things as many times as they want until they uh, master the skill because that's my goal. So uh, this information just goes over how the grade scale works. Uh, the biggest thing is learning is messy and it's a process and I want these kids to know that they can make mistakes and that's how we learn and they can keep making mistakes and we can keep helping until they get it. So most of the work for this class is going to be in school. So at home, I want them reading. If you need to set a time, about 20 minutes a day of their own reading is really great. Uh, every quarter they're going to have an assessment a project that they do on the book that they read that quarter. So they need to finish one book a quarter. Um, and then anything not completed in class. And then on Fridays, they will always have an assignment from me. Every Friday, they will have an assignment from me. Sometimes their assignment is going to be coming in and getting some extra help. Sometimes it's going to be at home. Everybody's going to have different assignments, but every Friday there will be an assignment from me. Um, the theme for this year is that we're going to be flexible. So if they miss class, if they have to quarantine for the 14 days, whatever, if they have a sore throat and they're worried about it, stay home. Uh, everything will be posted on Google Classroom and the link for that is on Canvas. So if they go to Canvas, click the link, everything will be on there. I will post the work daily. So if they miss Tuesday, they can check on Tuesday and see what they missed and stay caught up. Um, Turn in missing work within two weeks, makeup test before or after school. But again, we're just going to be really flexible. So just make sure your student is communicating with me. Um, like I said, everything's going to be on Google Classroom. So that will be updated regularly. Uh, grades will be on Skyward, but they can also look at Google Classroom for their grades. So that's it for me. Uh, I'm really excited to be back in the classroom with my students. And I'll see you soon.